Okay, so welcome back to this fourth video in which we are discussing the AMPA receptor. Okay, uh, so um, so far what we've discussed is that if you put glutamate um, uh, onto this AMPA receptor, then four glutamate molecules binds to, bind to uh, each one of the... Uh, sorry, no, <laughs> that, I'm saying that wrong. A glutamate molecule binds to each one of the ligand binding domain, uh, domains of the four, um, four subunits which make up an, uh, an AMPA receptor. That means that overall, four glutamate molecules bind to the AMPA receptor in order to cause it to open. Now, we've discussed that uh, the current that moves through this channel is dependent upon the voltage across the cell membrane. And basically, the higher the electrical potential difference across the membrane, the more positive is the current, i.e. you get positive charge moving out of the cell. And the more uh, negative is the electrical potential from an extracellular to intracellular, the more negative is the current, i.e. you get current moving into the cell. Right. Now what we need to discuss is the, um, is the insensitivity of these channels, because basically what happens is you do not just put glutamate onto this receptor, and then as long as the glutamate is bound there, the receptor will remain open. No. What happens is that the glutamate binds, and initially the channel opens, and basically the channel shuts, even though the glutamate is still bound, so it becomes insensitive after a very short period. So basically, what happens is if we look up, if we draw a little graph, and where should I draw this? In fact, we'll draw it on the other side. So basically, if we draw a little graph where we plot um, against time, so as time evolves, we're going to plot the current moving, uh, let's say, from intracellular to extracellular. And we're going to assume that the voltage is equal to negative 65 millivolts. So, at that voltage, if I just draw a little cell membrane here and put in an AMPA receptor, at that voltage, that means that the electrical potential uh, of the intracellular compartment is more negative, it is lower than the electrical potential of the extracellular compartment, and it's lower by 65 millivolts. That means we would expect positive charge to move into the cell to get to the lower electrical potential, which is in the intracellular compartment. Now, when you move positive charge into the cell, we are trying to plot current from the intracellular to the extracellular. But we are now moving positive charge, i.e. current, in the opposite direction. So that corresponds to a negative current going out of the cell, basically. So, if we plot this, if at time zero we open the channel, what we see is that the current goes very, very negative, extremely fast, like that. So you get current moving out of the cell, extre uh, sorry, into the cell, uh, extremely quickly. That's why I've got a negative current here, because the current is actually moving into the cell. So it's negative current moving out of the cell. But then what happens is that very quickly it also turns off, like so and then stops, even though you're still exposing it to glutamate, basically. So it stops conducting after a while, even though the glutamate is bound. This phenomenon is known as insensitization. Insensitization. Okay, and uh, AMPA receptors are, um, they insensitize very, very quickly to the glutamate. Okay, so that's a bit about uh, what is happening uh, when you actually put glutamate onto these AMPA receptors. Now let's do a bit of pharmacology of AMPA receptors. So, two things that we've discussed so far is that the drug AMPA, which is alpha amino, in fact I'll write this out, it's at equal to alpha amino, amino free hydroxy, hydroxy, 5 uh, methyl, uh, 4 uh, isoxazole uh, propiono, propionic acid, propionic acid. Okay, so that is what AMPA means. This drug basically will bind to uh, the AMPA receptor in the same position as where glutamate binds. So it binds and causes the channel to open, basically. Okay, so it's an agonist. Another agonist for this receptor is canate. So canate or canic acid is also uh, an agonist for AMPA receptors. And um, 
The difference between kinate receptors and AMPA receptors are that AMPA receptors are also agonized or stimulated by AMPA, whereas kinate receptors are not stimulated by AMPA. And that's how we um, initially told, uh, came to understand that there were two different receptors there, that AMPA and kinate receptors were distinct. And it was basically because of the discovery that some of these receptors that we previously thought were the same uh, responded to AMPA and some did not. Okay, but kinate and kinic acid are also agonists, so they will bind and they will stimulate the opening of this, um, of this channel. Okay, now we're going to discuss some competitive antagonists. So, uh, some competitive antagonists are the drugs CNQX, CNQX, okay, and MBQX, okay, so MBQX. Right, uh, so NBQX and CNQX are both, um, are both drugs which are competitive antagonists of AMPA receptors. So this means that what they do is they don't inhibit the AMPA receptors, but what they do is they bind to the AMPA receptors at the site where glutamate should bind. So they bind to these ligand binding domains on each of these subunits. So four um, CNQX molecules can bind to the AMPA receptor. Each, you know, each, each, at each ligand binding site, a CNQX molecule, or indeed an MBQX molecule, uh, can bind uh, to this uh, ligand binding domain. And basically what it does is it just blocks glutamate from being able to bind there. It doesn't activate the receptor, but neither does it inhibit it. It just blocks glutamate from being able to bind there. So it just blocks glutamate from being able to bind and activate this receptor. That's what he's meant by competitive antagonists. It does not inhibit the channel. It just stops the channel from be becoming activated, basically. It just stops glutamate from being able to activate it. So that's what he's meant by competitive antagonists. So CNQX and NBQ QX are both examples of competitive antagonists uh, for AMPA glutamatergic receptors.